What's going on? It's Big A the Man Geek. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's another edition of my poll list. You're going to see what I got this week in regards to comics. Well, obviously in regards to comics, because it's a poll list. So let's just start. Super Sons. I love this book. It's so much fun. It's really good. Damian Wayne, Jonathan Kent. It's just a good, fun comic and that's all it needs to be and it sticks to that and every time it comes out I can't wait to grab it I'm always literally right there to grab it off the shelf and it is usually one of the first things that I read now this co cover is kind of deceptive because none of this actually happens in the book itself and there's also the artist Jimenez he only does the first few pages at the beginning and then the last few pages. The person who does the rest of the art, I can't even say his name, I can't even begin to pronounce it. Dijando Minicho? Minico? Well, anyway, that's the guy who did, um, he did the art in um, The Red Death. I actually like his art, but. And I think they actually kind of disguised it quite well when they changed the art. Because I went, wait a second. Hold up. And I had to go back and go, oh, okay, that's where it changed. But I like him as an artist anyway. So it was okay to kind of like have him really kind of do a, a filler issue, so to speak. But yeah, this was, um, it's fun. I just like the book. It's just a good book, man. It's just a really fun book. Like I said, first artist. And you can see here we've got the second artist. And by the time we get to, uh, to just before the end, we've got our first artist back again. But yeah, it just continues the great fun. Get Super Sons. More people need to buy it. Advise everyone to get it. Recommend it. It's just a good, a really, really good DC book. So, I mean, out of all the issues, I'd say this was, I'd probably rate this out of 10, if I had to rate it out of 10. I'd say this was a 6. It was still entertaining. Not a lot happened. It's, the interactions between these two are just so good. And just so well written. That's why I enjoy it so much, I reckon. Because just these two bickering, <laughs> bickering little boys. But yeah, definitely get Super Sons. It's, it's always a romp. I got Batman The Drowned. Not read it yet. Hopefully... I think so far the Red Death has been the best one of these kind of like one shots. I thought that one was flipping great. The the, uh, the murder machine. I thought it was it was all right. It was a bit hokey in places, but it was all right. I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how we get this kind of like lady, aqua woman, Batman, which would be quite interesting. And I'm hoping it's uh it's also really good. So I got that as well. Nightwing. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't know why I still get this book. I just do. I, I'm, I like Nightwing. But I don't necessarily like where the story's going. You know, I, I also don't like this version of Bloodhaven. Bloodhaven, to me, just seemed like a really shitty part of New York. Whereas this Bloodhaven seems more like Las Vegas. Like... It's just casinos and lights and it's very bright even when it's dark. I just don't get a sense of any real crime going in on the place. And that's probably as to why I'm not connecting with it that well. But anyway, this is the next kind of issue in regards to like Raptor coming back and wreaking havoc in uh, Bloodhaven and for Dick Grayson. And then yeah, finally, all new Guardians of the Galaxy which no one apart from myself and a few other people are buying. Again, I think they've gone with a, a yeah, different artist yet again. They keep on changing the artists a lot, so it's kind of really jarring for me to kind of to get into and remember where things are and where things are going and all that. I know they're trying to get the Infinity Stones slash Gems together again. I've completely forgotten as to what read, reason. I probably need to go back and read the previous issue. I have no idea what's going on in this. I think they're probably going to go around kind of like the Marvel Universe and try and track down the stones slash gems and, um, and yeah, try and use them 
to uh, put things right again probably but yeah I've quite enjoyed the stories it's taken a while for them to kind of get the basics in place I don't know why it took so much well they kept on doing flashbacks they tell a bit of the story flashback a bit of the story flashback and they keep kept on doing that it's only last issue where they actually said okay this is where we are this is where they were and this is what's going on and this is what they've got to do so they're finally getting into that and this is the beginning of that so it'll be interesting to see as to where it goes I hope they can keep one artist on for a while just so it's not so jarring but, but we'll have to see but yeah that's that's what I've got for my pull list only gun is the galaxy Nightwing Batman the Drowned and Super Sons so it's a very uh, very heavy DC week this week more DC books than Marvel again I think most weeks to be honest are for me now these days more DC than Marvel and you know it's just the way it is right now it's just it's just like where I like to spend my money I spend my money a fair amount on DC I would like to buy more Marvel stuff you've got Spirits of you know, I'm getting Spirits of Vengeance I'll be getting the next issue of that I'll be checking out Captain America when that when that hits as well I always forget what's coming out in the future I can never remember only on the day when I go to the comic book store and I look at the shelf they go oh, yeah I'm getting that I'm getting that I've been getting that I was going to check that out so but yeah that's that's what I got this week let me know so what you have on your pull list what you got what you think of any of these books if you got any of them like comment subscribe hit the bell notification and most importantly share and as always I will catch you on the next one